Hello and welcome. My name's Tanya from Touch Treasure. Pleased to meet you or welcome back. Sorry about that um, sunshine there, but it's a beautiful, crisp summer's day. Uh, summer's day? <laughs> winter's, winter's day. Uh, it's very bright and sunny out there, but obviously it's absolutely freezing. I think it is two Celsius, that's what it's uh, saying. So I'm filming this on Monday, it's 1pm here and it will go up uh, tomorrow. So we started this last week and we're doing it with the trash and it was lots of like uh, pamphlet type things and uh, stuck them together to make a folio. I might have to close that blind a little bit. And it's come out all right. Now, I did say, oh, while we're off screen, I'll get it inked and this, that and the other. And I haven't. And I must stop saying that I'm going to do this, that and the other off screen because... Many times I don't, and then I, I feel bad because I've said that I'm going to do that, um, and I haven't. So I must try and stop myself from saying, you know, I'm going to do this, that, and the other. Um, and if I do do it, I do, and if I don't, I don't. And, you know, if I do do it, I can obviously say, well, I've inked it all off screen. Instead of me saying that I'm going to do something and I don't do it. So that's just a quick ink around uh, the front part. I'm just going to work on uh, these two bits today. Um, I have put a notification up in Patreon, uh, Facebook and on YouTube saying that I'm going to have a change of schedule until I'm in my new office and... Um, you know, I've moved in properly, so it's going to be Tuesday. I'm going to glue that bit down. I did glue uh, the front parts just before I put the camera on. Uh, Tuesday is going to be uh, Trash Tuesday, so I'm guessing we'll be working on this for a few weeks. Uh, Thursday will be Patreon only video, um, and that's uh, a journal with me video so we have a couple of different prompts which I pick out at random and um, I create a two page spread and talk about the, the prompts a little bit and um, how I'm going to answer them and the following week you know I'll show you what I've wrote I read it out and um, yeah, and then we start again. <laughs> and then Saturday is going to be uh, carrying on with the vintage blue. Now, that has gone on for a lot longer than I expected it to. I feel like I've got kind of waylaid with it. But I think, um, you know, with everything going off building wise and... Obviously, it's been Christmas and all the rest of it. And now trying to get back into routines and um, things like that. It's it's just run on a lot longer um, than it was supposed to. So we will be carrying on with that. I'm just going to leave that there to, to dry um, until, until it's finished. So these are from... Uh, my kit called uh, Fine Romance and the full name is It's a Fine Romance but um, to just shorten it I've, we'll, we'll call it Fine Romance so these are printed just one to, to a page I think I've printed them off again two to a page so I've just done that with my tear ruler just to get it down um, a little bit and then I'm going to nibble nibble around it and this is going to be my focal point uh, for the front so this is available now um, in the Patreon shop you do have to be 
uh, a member of Patreon. But I have put a lower tier in uh, for people that, that want to see uh, some of the chat and, uh, and the shop facilities. The kits will be cheaper um, through Patreon. And I'm going to slowly um, start putting the rest of um, my kits on. Uh, but it'll be be a slow, slow process. So that's one of the, you know, another one of the benefits to, to Patreon that um, they'll go on earlier and they will be uh, cheaper than on Etsy. So it will be out on, well, the beginning of February in Etsy. And that's about it. Denise is going to be working on um, a kit called, um, what do we call it, Dark, is it Dark Romance, Dark, Dark Days. She'll probably rename it to something, something else like she did a Meadow Mouse, it's now Country Mouse. So we'll see, we'll see what, she, what she comes up with. So I shall just ink around here. And I've chosen the bluer one because I think there's more blues and, and oranges in in the kit than there is uh, the pinks and, and stuff. But I can use those in all the projects. Okay, let's, let's get this back. Okay, so that's that bit. Rid of these bits and bits and bobs. I'm just going to pause and see if I can just move the blind over slightly. They are closed. Um, it's just a little bit of it's come open, and that's where the sun's peeping. I mean, it is lovely, but um, yeah, not not looking so good um, on on camera. So I shall be back in a tick. Okay. Yeah, that's better. Right, so I'm just going to move the pages out of the way a minute. So I'm going to have to cover uh, this bit, and I think that will probably be better in washi tape. I might use this one. I think that will be nice. So I shall put some glue so it sticks down nicely. I want to get it as far in as I can without obviously going into uh, the spine okay I'll just leave that a minute till it's dried could still do with going in with a smaller brush there's still a white piece down there so I'm going to go in with that makeup brush and see see if I can just get in a little bit more oh that's better just so I don't see see that white okay I'm just using vintage photo And I think that's some washi tape from uh, Taperology. And I know I mention it every time, but I do have a coupon code. And you can find it in the description, as well as all my other links. Um, I've got a link tree which um, has all my links in it to make it easier. Easiest to find everything. Okay, I think that's, I think that's gone through a little bit. It has, but when I get to that part, I shall put some material over this um, outside bit. So I'm not worried um, about that. Okay, I'm going to snip this off. It just goes down a little bit like, like that. Same with this side. Yep, let's just get that back. 
okay so that's that's that I suppose I'm gonna keep gluing this if I'd have had time I would have gone uh, over it with the Mod Podge and that would have gave it um, a nice finish and um, it would have caught any of these bits that that are sticking down but I just haven't had time unfortunately and um, I don't think it would make for, for a great a great video not like um, I'm trying to make a great video uh, I don't think I've made one of those for, for a while so that's going to go there at some point um, and that's kind of going to be our front uh, cover so what else do I want to do I've got some uh, sprays out so I think I'm I'm not gonna oh, shall I spray I'll spray because if it doesn't look great I can cover it cover it up because I will be putting some uh, other papers behind I'm guessing this is blocked up because it's um, it's a micro spray so we'll go back to the I'm gonna splash it which I prefer anyway so I'll just splash around that and around there I will have to wait a minute or two for that to dry before I can do the do the front part So I will pause a little while uh, while that dries. I have got um, some antique linen as well. So once that dries, I think I'm going to spray that over. And I've got a bit of cosmic shimmer. Let's do that now because they're both they're both glittery. I think it'll be it'll be fine. Uh, the other one is a gold colour, and this one's ancient copper. Um, and this one's a cosmic shimmer and the other one's uh, Nouveau is it Nouveau Nouveau drops or just Nouveau I think that's what it is so that's yeah that's cosmic shimmer and that one's Nouveau uh, micro mist so we'll leave that to, to dry and then I'll be back and we'll give it a blast of the antique linen Okay, that's about dry. Let's see see how this spray is. Oh, that's not bad. This is uh, antique linen. I'll give it a good a good shake. Okay, again, I will pause. I have got a dryer. It's just not um, to hand. So I will leave it again to dry and then I will come back I've just on the back I've just been placing wherever sprayed I've just been placing it on the back so by the time I get to the back I might not have to do do the back <laughs> so what a what a lazy bum and we've got some some on there okay so I'll be back in a tick okay why it dries I think I'm gonna cut this out uh, so this is in the kit I've put these in a couple of the kits I know it was in the um, country mass kit okay chosen this one to kind of go with the uh, book page I'm obviously not cutting it out super because I'm doing it fast <laughs> okay let's put that underneath there so this bit here I'm going to use my ruler and do it on the scoreboard. Just gonna line it, line it up. And hopefully get it onto the 
piece that's it okay so that's that piece you can use this piece in all different uh, ways you know you can cut that off and you can use it as say this was a page you could use it as as a tuck um could use it as a side um you know coming out your side of your journal or um you know page decoration but um the reason i made them with the hinges on is so they can hinge around something like so and then i can add an extra sheet under um there so i'll just show you so you know say this is half the size instead of it being folded i would then glue that onto there and then this would be a sheet i mean you could keep it double and obviously fold it um out so that's um was was the kind of uh use um of, of why you know they're in there but what i'm thinking is I'm wondering if I could use this as some kind of closure and then have a eyelet there and then it, it wraps it wraps around. I like that idea. So let's um let's ink ink around this. You could obviously make one of these with your um scrap card, what's what's left over like your um, scrapbook paper, you could do it with packaging and obviously uh, cover cover that. So that's inked. Yeah, and I can attach it on there. This piece does is coming out. Let me move this here. It's going to come out. But sticking that there doesn't, you know, stop anything at all. And then I can put washi tape across that, across that top. So that's plain on the inside. Now, I'm thinking, I know I'm inking this and probably don't, don't need to. I'm thinking to make this thicker, I might stick it to something and then cut back uh, around. So let me see. Oh, I've got the print, kit printed off in um, card as well. So let's use uh, this one. So if I go down, well, I could do it with a ruler, couldn't I? If I go down this edge, take the take the white off. I'm going to take some of that uh, age off as well. Okay. So I'm going to stick that into uh, there and then that will just make that, that thicker For an eyelet to go through and then some um you know ribbon or seam bind or string whatever whatever i decide uh, to put there trying to make sure it's right on the edge okay and i'll just press that up against there Oops, I've gone too close. It doesn't matter if I have. So, cut around this again. Holding it that way so I can just ink 
down that side and then shall go down here so we can't see the the seam where the paper well where the two pieces of card it's not really card I think it's I don't know 220 um, each sheet so once it dries it will be um, you know quite quite thick so I did get some of that um, you know edge on which is fine okay so I'm gonna stick that stick that down like so I think that'll make a bit of a different um, closure there's gonna be some of these in I think it's my next kit which is um, called uh, one fine day whereas this is called fine romance um, I must have really liked the word fine <laughs> um, yeah I can't remember if I put them in uh, Denise's garden gate or or not so that's on there like so so we'll leave that to, to dry and once it's dry, I'm going to go go around it with uh, some gilding polish um, all, all the way around. We'll put something on here at some point to decorate and we can put a hole in there or not. We can leave, leave that bit until, until later on. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm liking that. So, I think I want to find something, what we can have a, a title or something um, there. I think some butterflies down there would be, would be nice. And I think I'm probably um, collage behind there a little bit. So what shall I what shall I use? Um, let's just have a look at that. The papers. I wonder how much of that I'd get in. If I cut that or rip it around, because that would be beautiful. Let me I'm just gonna rough, rough cut it. I'm obviously bringing it in more um, the more it what it is really okay fingers crossed that yeah yeah it does well I like that so I think around there there's two pages um, like this, obviously this one and um, another one what, what very similar I don't know if the shape is exactly the same in the other one I feel that that one's creamy okay I think I've inked all, all around that So yeah, I'm going to pop that down there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the clow with it being a bigger um, surface. I've not used it for a while, so I don't know, don't know if it will run, you know, 
come out properly or or what we shall see and then i think it needs some either fabric behind um the floral vase or just some textured uh type paper so uh, maybe tea bag tissue um i don't know you know that kind of of thing these things be what have I got in my um, scraps I forget what I've got all these out for I know we sorted uh, through my books <laughs> the other week um, I do this and then totally forget um, you know what's what's what and um, what are these things for just gonna go to the bottom of the box and just see um, anything texture texture wise some nice um, linen card that I don't think oh maybe I'll just I'll just pull a bit out got some glittery embossed there some more glittery embossed and a bigger bit with something stuck at the back um, that would have been nice but I think that's a bit blue but I'll see it might ink okay I've got some vellum and some other vellum they're from the gentleman kit got some handmade uh, paper there Ooh. some um, yeah <laughs> so in stuff And Mandy brought round when she, when she came um, round. Got some grease proof paper. What's been inked? I've got some packaging stuff. Uh, I've got a tea stained doorway. So I'm gonna put those back into my um, scrap box. Okay, I've obviously got more out than than I need, but. Um, We'll, we'll see what, what happens. So, what would it look like? Put that behind. So. Okay, um, I had to run off there with somebody at the, um, at the door. Right, I'm wondering what this will look like. I'm liking this. This colour, <laughs> that's um, if I did it diagonal, so I'll tear it down there. Oh, I think, oh, I was, I didn't think it'd tear that way. Sometimes, um, handmade paper won't tear uh, one way, so if I try and I don't need it to pop out all over the place, but um, if it pops out in most places, that would be nice. So yeah, I like. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I've got some issues going off with my um, daughter, my uh, youngest daughter. So um, I might have to jump off again.
but hopefully, hopefully not. Okay, so I'm liking that. Let's put those there because they can go back in the um, scraps. Let's tear this in half. Oh, I can. Let's put that under under there. Oh yeah, I like that. Um, I'm wondering if I need something a bit paler. So we could either go with this or we could go with this uh, tea stained. I don't know if it's tea stained or coffee stained. It's just got like splodges on it because it is grease proof. So it's not um, like penetrated uh, the paper. So uh, yes, she's not she's not turned up at um, at school. I'm having big big problems with her. Well, I have done for the past um, the past two years. Um, well, really since oh gosh, it, I suppose it's more than two years um, since COVID, really. But it's it's got worse and worse over the last the last two years. Um, you know, to the point now where school are actually turning up at the door. So, yeah, we've we've gone through the getting fines and what have you. So, yeah. And um, now in, in the UK, I, I don't know what it's like in, in other countries, but they do have to stay in education till they're 18. So, yeah, it looks like I'm going to have this for, for another two years. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's difficult because, um, you know, I've done the falling out with that um, and, you know, it, it just makes it worse. So... I have to, you know, stay stay calm, stay positive and, and stuff. And, yeah, it is, it is difficult because, obviously, they just want a backup at school. I really wanted to get some help. There's not a lot of help available. Um, in fact, there's hardly any. And services are getting cut left, right and centre here at the moment. Um you know cuz there's just there's just not the the finances and and stuff so and mental health at the moment now you know it seems seems like it's not that that important um yeah all they want is a you know to be to be in school and stay in school which you know obviously you, know, you can't blame them, but um, yeah, from my point of view, um, you know, I do, I do what I can to get her there, and um, yeah, it's it's been a hard, a hard uh, trog for the last couple of years. So, and it's always worse um, after holidays. She didn't go all last week. Um, her anxiety is always, you know, really bad. Um, after they've been been off, um, so it's took four hours to get ready this morning, and yeah, she's left. I did contact school and say, you know, she's she's getting ready. Uh, she's going to be on her way, and obviously she's she's never never turned up. So that's that. Um, right, let's get back to. Get back to this. So I know where she is. I've made I've made contact with her, so don't um don't be worrying. Right. So yeah, I'm liking I'm liking that. Let's have a look what it looks like with the um probably needs going going up slightly. Yeah, about there. Okay. Right. Now I want to give this a, a good press down so it's not 
not sticking up so it doesn't get um you know caught on on the little little window door or door window okay hopefully that's that's enough and i wanted it a little bit higher didn't i maybe up a bit before i press it down i'm just gonna yeah about there make sure it's straight okay And what I will do once it's um, adhered, I will go in with the um, tip of the Cosmic Shimmer and um, get get these bits down so so it's a bit more flat. I don't normally like um, collage type things, um, you know, all down, but I think with it being the cover, um, I think it's best. If, if it is, I'm going to just, that's it. Okay. So it is quite slidey, uh, the clal is, till, till it grips. And obviously we've got the greaseproof paper as well, uh, which is obviously slidey. Um, okay. And then that will go, yeah. I think that's going to be really, really nice. So if I go in, if I start round here and just catch some of these. Like so. I'm just thinking what, what the next step is going to be. Because I probably need to find um, something that I can put as a, um, you know, journal or, um, you know, title. I'm not sure what else I'm going to put at the front. So maybe we could skip skip the front until till I do. I suppose we a lot of the times we do do the front last, don't we? I think then you've got a better feel of, um, you know, what what direction you've you've gone in. Because sometimes you start off doing something and it ends up, you know, not being um, how, you, how you thought. It it just develops. I've got no kind of thought for for this. I'm just gonna, you know, go. Go as a go, <laughs> really. Go as a go. Okay, so I think I'm going to want some washi tape down there to give that a bit more stability. So I will use the, the same same one, um, and I'm going to have to leave it open so it properly properly dries with it being in the crease. Could have gone down and put some material in it, but at the minute I can't think where where material is it's probably just to my left somewhere but but yeah I'm a, I'm a little bit upside down and back to front now <laughs> unfortunately my partner had just nipped home for his dinner as well um so yeah um and you know we, we don't tell we don't tell him everything um so obviously he's now now aware so yeah, that'll be a conversation. <laughs> okay. Let me just uh, I could have gone go right to the top actually. We'll see. Let's just put a bit more on the bottom in case I want to keep it all all on and then cut round it. Go that way. Okay. okay, so I'll leave that um, to properly adhere. I'm just going to run my finger down there. That's it. 
So yeah, I like that. I think we need, you know, some butterflies on there as well. Maybe um, a word, a couple of words would be would be nice. Um, I'm thinking some pearls somewhere would be very nice as well. I do want it grungy, but I also want it, um, you know, feminine as well. Yeah, I do like that. Okay, let me think. What can we? What else can we? Can we do? Right, let's open that. Oh, we can cover that, can't we? So it'll probably be best to cut that. Um, so I can see. Okay, so I've cut it off that side, and then I'm going to run the um wash it down this side as well. I'm going to go right uh, to the edge because I think it will just finish finish the page off nice. So run down here. This is thickened up quite a lot now. It's dry. So that's good. So my daughter has just arrived home. I have informed school. Alright, let's pop that down here. Okie dokie. Oh, nice. And I'll just cut that off. There, I'll neaten that up once it's uh, stuck, stuck to it. So that's that part. <laughs> yeah, that goes over there, doesn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah, I'm definitely feeling like this needs some pearls um, on it. I think that would be really nice. I don't know if I know where they are. Over like so. I'm just gonna grab um, my butterflies and see if we've got anything in here. What will uh, go? So, oh, I've got a nice, um, a nice sticker. One. I don't know how that. That might be okay on there, look, because that will show up on there. So, because it's a little bit wider. I'm just going to go go around and take some of the clear off just so it will fit. It will fit. And then I can put the eyelet um, there. Obviously, by the time we've got some other things... Oh, no. It, it won't get any bigger. I was thinking it was on the back. If it had stuck it on the back one, by the time we'd have filled it up, there would have only been a little bit of this left because it would have grown. Um, so you wouldn't have seen a lot of this. But because it's just on that page, um, it'll be it'll be fine. So yeah, I'm going to stick stick that there. Let's try and get it like so. Okay. Oh, I like that. Okay, right, I wanted to find something for here. Again, I've got stickers. Ooh, that's nice. But I've also got some... So I've got a white one. Ooh, I've got an orange one. <laughs> a blue one. I wonder if I've got a blue one that's uh, not a sticker. Yeah, that's about an orange one. That's a... Uh, 
a book page one. Let me see if I can find a blue, a blue one. Maybe that one's better, keeping a bit more with the, with the colours. That's a, a creamy blue. No, it's a bit too, too teal, that one. Cream one. I can see another blue, two blue sticker ones. those somewhere. I think I'm going to keep a couple of these blue ones out, the stickers, because they might be nice um, around the front edge and I think stickers would be, well they look nice on the uh, book page don't they? Where's that other one? Three is probably enough but I'm just thinking if I've got them, got them out I can use them um, throughout okay oh there's another one that's the one <laughs> the original one that I was holding so I'm gonna ink ink around these So these two are from Kits and the other one's from from a book. Okay. So I'm just gonna put this down as, as well. I like that there. They're quite orangey. That would be round, wouldn't it? So, still like that there. Maybe I don't need an orange one on the front with that being quite orangey. So maybe two would be would be enough. Like in that. Yeah, I think I'm going to pop them there, and I could put the pearls um, on on the middles of those, so that would be be nice. Okay, um, put that there. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I like that. So, I think next I might put the hole in. I don't think I want that one. I mean, we might as, as we go, go on. But I'm wondering about putting that there. Oh, I like that there. Let's do that. I think I've already inked this one, haven't I? Make sure I've got glue all the way on it with this one just being um, out of the book. It's obviously a little bit thinner than the digitals. Okay, shall I have it to the side? Yeah. Lovely. Oh, I'm going to be putting a hole there. Right, let's move that. Come on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. just going to catch it. I don't think I can move it anymore. I mean, I was lucky to be able to move it that much. If it had been um, art glitter, I would have never, never have moved it. Yeah, it's going to go through about there, but oh well, it is what it is. That's that. Yeah, lovely. So I definitely want something uh, there. 
Now, I did have them in a tin somewhere. Is this it? Yes. <laughs> so, we've got field diary. Let's put that there. And we can see. Colour-wise, that's very nice. Um, another field diary. No. Let me see. Yeah. Journal, not the right colour. Art journal, I don't think it's going to be an art journal. Diary, again, too pale, my diary. Journal, oh, I like that. If with some other paper behind, so put that there. Observations, no, my doodles, no. Observations, I've separated these because when I wanted, you know, something for the front of a notebook or a journal, could never find anything. Um, so yeah, that's why I um, separated them, and it just make it a lot easier. Art book, field diary, journal. It's not the right green. My thoughts. Um, I, I think I'm liking that one. Let's go with with that one. Well, I've got. That's nice as well. My diary. I like that, but I don't know. Colour wise, it's not. It doesn't not go. Observations. Right, make a, make a decision. So we've got. We're going. <laughs> it's one of those. So this one, if I was to use it, I would... I think I'd want to round the corners. I do like that. So that's that one. I like this because obviously it's got the um you know the faux brad brad things. Well I think I like that one. Let's go with that one. I'm going to say I like the, the size of it, that it, it fills um, that space. And I do like those, those brads. So do I want anything behind it? Let's, let's just um, rip some of this down, which is what I use behind the, the floral. I don't know if I do or if I don't, but... We shall see. Okay. So that would be middle-ish. Yeah, I do. Let's tear this down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Okay, so that is middle, isn't it, really? Yeah. So i put this down. Oh, left the lid off. <laughs> and it's nearly all gone, so it's it does take a bit to, to come down. It can probably do with being kept upside down now. Um, I th I'm just going to... Think around here. So just to just to grunge it up a little. 
Yeah. And I think before I put this down, ooh, I've used quite a bit of that. I mean, I have had it a good while, but I didn't realise um, I'd used as, as much as that. Why is it automatically you want to start going looking for, for something else? Like, all right, that means I can go and have a look <laughs> online for for one. Like, I'll probably be months um, until I've actually finished it. I must learn to, to finish things before. The trouble is, like, things with glue and, and stuff, I, I don't. Um, because, I mean, we've had times where, you know, we've not been able to get any. And we've had to wait, you know, to get some from from the US. Um, and sometimes it's it's took weeks. Um, so, yeah, glue is a bit like, oof. well, you know, there's not a lot you can do do without glue. Right, I'm just going to stick, stick this on before I wipe my fingers. I love that. Let's um let's put the thingy in and think um I'm thinking it'd probably be nice with just string. Um it's given it's given that kind of oh it's got that kind of look, hasn't it? Um, I do want to go all around these edges uh, with that. So if we get, let's get a hole in, that way. And that's middle, is it? Yeah, like that. Um, I think it might, might be nice with one of the, one of the bigger ones. Just, just a brown one, not like. Oh, yeah, nice. Right. Um, oh, gosh, which way does it go? That way. It feels like it's a while since I've, I've used that. It probably is. I think, yeah, they're using them all the time, or hardly, hardly at all. Okay. So that's that. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> gonna... so. Yeah. It's a nice butterfly. There would look nice, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that one. Maybe too bright, I don't know. They all look nice, don't they? <laughs> I might go with a really bright one because it, it won't look as bright once it's onto the, um, the book page. Is, but it's beautiful, beautiful one. It's more purple. Well, it's purple blue, I would say. I, mean, I don't know. I think it's purple actually. <laughs> if I'm honest, right. So that's that. Let's get some um, string. Oh, oh, I've got some. Oh, I don't think brown, brown ribbon would go, even though it's strings brown, but. That's um, a dark, dark brown. Hmm. I don't know where my thing is. What colour is it? Oh, peach. Um... Nah. Let's have a look what this looks like. 
going to do it pretty, pretty long because, you know, then you can cut it off. Um, as in, you know, what you want when, when you want. So I'm just going to put it um, double. <coughs> Excuse me. And thread that through that. And that through there. I think I'm, I think I'm going to knot it just so it doesn't slip. I think sometimes, you know, the satiny type ribbon is, it's very slippy. So, yeah, that's lovely. Oh, you can do it that way, can't you? One that way, one that way. Do it three times. One, two, three. I mean, that's way too much, but that's nice. <laughs> okay, so I'll just leave that like that for for now. Um, do I want another butterfly here? I don't think I want that one. Do I want this one? Yeah, I'm going to pop that there. So, I think I'll leave that as it is for now. Um, let everything dry and, and what have you. Um, could probably do that bit right at, right at the end um, when, when it's finished. Because I don't want to start next, next week. And, you know, the first thing that we do is something that gonna have to let it let it dry um so yeah i'm really happy uh with that after you know all the pauses all the interruptions all the um stress and all the rest of it <laughs> it's um it's turned out okay so tidy tidy round not made too much too much mass yeah, that's lovely. So I'm excited to see see how it develops. Open it up. I'll open that. It's a flap. And, and then we open it up. So yeah, we'll be able to to do this next. And we'll get some pockets. Um, inside it and and stuff might put that lace on next time because i think that's you know wanting firming firming up and this one's um doing so yeah find some probably use crocheted um lace you know a cream one so it's a bit more rusticky it's it's feeling like it's uh rustic I think it's got that got that vibe going going on. So I think I just did that twice. I think that'll probably be be better than three. That's it. So it'd be nice with um some beads on, on that as well. So I will cut cut some of it off. I'm not going to cut loads off because, like I say, I prefer it a bit longer until until we know know what we're doing. So I'm going to leave that um, like so. Uh, thank you very much for joining me. Sorry if it was um, a little bit all over the the place, but um, you know we do have uh, <laughs> lives going off in in the background and 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 things. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna say, and I don't think I've mentioned um, what's going off for for a long time. So, so yes, um, I found my lid. I'll put that back on and and get the ink lid on. So I'll be back Thursday, like I say, with the Patreon only video, and I'll be back on YouTube on Saturday. Um, I don't know. I feel like doing doing this, but no. 
it needs to get the vintage blue finished off um and as soon as we get that finished off I, i'll do this as as the tuesday and the saturday until until this is finished off i don't think this will take too long um but yeah i do obviously want to add um you know some flip outs and and things like like that so we'll just see we'll see how it how it develops right i'm going thank you very much and um yeah see you soon bye for now